I know a lot of people who would hire a hot young female like you. You have both looks and brains. Thanks. I really need a job. Who would have thought they would fire the only one here who knows what they are doing? Yes. It's a mystery. The fact that you put a poison sandwich in the refrigerator to punish whoever ate it doesn't make you a lawsuit waiting to happen. Management overreacted. Anyway, this whole place is going down the toilet. You should quit before that happens. Sure, that's a good idea seeing that the real unemployment rate is 17%. Why don't you move to Costa Rica for 10 years and come back in your mid-30s with no employable skills? I think I'll focus on my career now and just stop depending on men like you to do me any favors. I should be making over $200,000 a year by now. This is the island of Manhattan, not Fantasy Island. American Express paid me $100 for a one-hour survey about my shopping habits. If you annualize that, it would amount to $200,000 a year. Perhaps you should change your medication. It's making you delusional. I'm not listening to you. You always sabotage my success. Since the only thing you can do reliably is obvulate. I can't recommend you anyway. I went to Carnegie Mellon. I can get any job I want. You tried to poison me. You should have been punished with jail time. Laxative is not a poison. You've screwed me over with your big mouth. The official reason you were fired was that you did not make your sales quota. You screwed yourself. Could you lend me another $500? I think you owe me at least that for ruining my life. I've already lent you hundreds of my after-tax dollars in exchange for some implied sexual favors. But I've got zip, zero, the big donut. You're crazy and disgusting. That's not something I would ever do. It worked that weekend when you came out to my house in the Hamptons. What you call hooking up is what I call you trying to rob a liquor store with an orange water pistol. It could never happen because your gun doesn't shoot bullets. I'm sure if we tried it again the outcome would be much better. The only way that could happen again is if you built a time machine that would take you back there. I'll give you $300 for another shot. Okay if you want to play it that way I want $10,000. You have no clue what the market is. Let me tell you exactly what your market rate is. $300. You are a tool for getting me into this lame conversation. In your imagination this is probably the time you think I should say kiss me you fool. Here's a dose of reality. If you don't lend me $500 I will tell human resources and television news about the sexual harassment I'm getting as my parting bonus. That should make a good headline. If I was recording this conversation on my Blackberry I could use it to disprove your false accusations. Well I am recording this on my iPhone and it will be indisputable proof of you soliciting sex for money from an appalled co-worker. I suggest you plan a long trip to Costa Rica before I release the recording. You know I was going to lend you that 500. I've always been generous that way. Then make it a $10,000 parting gift and we can remain friends. It's a deal. I hope your tits explode.